Get off first round. Use this as a warm up. guinea pig for this one, huh? Like, yeah, the girls do this one, uh, they do it every, I guess it was every Tuesday or every Thursday, they do this one. But he was the first one out of this class to, to do it. Who else was here? Was it Blake was here, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good DVD. It's a lot of legs. It's, it's good. Round two. Turkish right. get-ups. Five minutes. We're starting off on the right side. Okay. I'll call out all the moves yeah. for the first few reps, and then you're going to go at your own pace. We're going to switch Start at the top, left side, right side. And the timer starts now. Back on the left leg. This practice. Left hand. Like have it. Don't Elevate that left knee. Bring it forward. Lie all the way back. Push up the right foot. Elbow first. Get up on the left elbow. Left Get hand. Back. Drop it Elevate. Cross. Send the left Press leg. Off that. Forward. There you go. Left knee. Push off the left hand. Push off the left foot. I be able to have the on this side. Switch sides. I'm sorry. I'll let you come in here. That way you have more. Left side's up. Right knee back. Right hand on the ground. Elevate, send the right leg forward. Right elbow, right shoulder, lie back. Push off the left foot, get up on the right elbow. Right hand, elevate, send that right leg through in a lunge position. Right hand, push off the back foot, stand up. Bring it down, switch side. Keep this moving now. At your own pace, guys. Yeah, you do it, Jake. On the right side. Leg straight. Down, right hand close. 
Good. First time we've done it, it's awesome. First time. Drive up. Drive back. Hey, get high with these. Five hands for a long time. Take your body open up for the rest of the workout. Sweet. Yeah, let's try. Let's try the part. Okay. 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 There you go. And drop up. So when you're here, Jake, when you're here like this, rock up like that. Instead of just going to the bottom. Like Every this. plane necessary. Just like this. Rock up like this. Yeah. Which train? Get your obliques, your abs, your shoulders, your legs. Stretches your body out. Open up your hips. Fantastic, fantastic moves right there. Yeah. Don't, don't go straight to the back. So you can go for a few seconds. Yeah. Drop up off your elbow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to switch it up and try a different variation. I'm going to do a squat yeah. variation. Feel the difference? You guys keep doing what you're doing. Squat, send that leg forward. Turn my back. Push up the same way. I tuck my left foot under. And when I'm ready, I stand up with it. Next to our side. A little more advanced, so if you've been doing circuit get-ups for a while, try this one. Or try it a little differently now. Squat. Get that knee on the ground. Yeah. Push it back up. 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 Push it up. Mix it up a little bit. Come up in the lunge down the squat. Just remember, there you go. Try to keep that foot and ankle in line with your knee. When you use a reverse lunge, or when you're getting up especially. That's when everybody gets out of whack. Welcome down the lunge on this one. And I'll come up on the squat. Press up. Drive your hip back, Zayla. And drive overhead. Yeah. Two Opposite versions there. Down the squat. Bang. Come back up. Now we'll come back up to the lunge. Different variation here, Jake's doing. Get my leg on there. Push it off that hand. And up. Yeah. Try to keep your eyes on your hand the whole time. If you can do that, that'll keep your focus and your balance better, especially down the road when you do a bell. And we'll come back up in that squat. Yep, eyes on the bell. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Back. Very good. I'm going to come down on the squat. Just take the practice. Back. Good. And I'm going to come up on the squat on the left side. Got a minute 15 left. Very good, bro. Let me get up back there. I'm going to have a lot of heavy breathing. <laughs> To stay the same exercise, I wouldn't try to do the variation or any of that stuff. I would just go ahead and stay on the same thing. Very challenging position right here. Zayla, make sure you just stay with the same one. Try not to do the alternative exercise, okay? okay? Other than that, you're doing great. Okay, 30 seconds left. Finish up strong. Good. Once you get the pattern down, then you can start doing it with a bell. We're going to take a little more on the left side. Drive it through. Eyes up. Good. Good. Notice how when they get to the top, I, their eyes are focused on the bell the entire Five time. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Drop it. Very good. Alright, so now we're going to go to planks. One minute. Good, then get your butt down a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Your hips should be on the plank, just like at the top of the swing, it should be all the way, you know, level right there. If it is, you'll feel your core gauge better. Keep those hips strong. Up a little bit more, Jake. Just look right there. They'll pop up if you can. Two, one, and good. 
Okay, one minute break. So, when the turkey should get up, so what you're going to do is start here press, try to keep your joints in the ground here, just like this, eyes on the bell. Here's not how fast you do this, press here, elbow tight here, down and through, just like that. This is where you can blast right there. Drive to your ear, just stays here, doesn't flare out, toe up. Slide it behind, drive up. From here, you don't try to stand up, what you do is you rock up like that. And then you go down, sort of up like the bell, then you would do the other side. But everybody did really good actually. The more you practice it, the more you watch it, you'll, you'll get better. The biggest thing is just keep your postures and everything really tight. Tough one, this is it? This. Yeah, that's my favorite one. It's just a, it's the hardest one to teach for sure. <laughs> the only way I learned was just trying to mimic it. All right, let's do it. Round three. This is going to be squats and uh, two hand swings. It may be one hand swings, we'll see. You're not running the ropes. You want to grab your kettlebell. I know we're. It may be two hand swings, I'm not sure. <coughs> Round three. We're going to do a mix of swings and One body weight swings. squats. Ready? Here we go. One arm swing. The timer starts now. A lot of swings. Okay, start on the right side. One arm swing. Really? Ah, this is for a whole minute, so pace yourself, guys. Hey, Zay, let me have you come over this way, okay? Right, so let's hit back. Keep the hand close to the groin. Just like you're hiking a football behind you. Yeah, it's pretty much perfect, Jake. A little more rotation. There you go. Perfect. That's it. Moving. Halfway there on the side. Quick snaps when you come up. Try to find some efficiency in there. Swing your back arm. Make sure that back arm Four swings. Same thing, Bill. Feel two. Swing that back arm. Keep breathing. The one that doesn't have a weight in it, that arm should be swinging along with the weight. It gives you a nice snap with the hips and good flow and coordination. Should stiffen up at the, uh, in, in your butt and your core at the same time when you get to the top of the swing. Real light at the top, should feel like you're throwing it actually. And you should feel like you're Throwing back, a little more back there, Bill. The more lean back. Like this. We're a little bit different after doing those ropes for a while. The more bend you have forward, the more rotation, the more bend or pull you'll have coming up. If you don't bend going down, you won't be able to pull as well coming up. There you go, Jake. Those are perfect. Pick up where you left off. We're halfway on the left side. There you go. Definitely tell you you're a lefty golfer, Jake. <laughs> More flexibility on that side. Very cool. Breathing on, pace yourself. You guys are all swinging it well. Good job, Take Eric. And then continue whenever you're ready. Zayla, on yours, pull your pull your back shoulder back, right? See, like this. There you go, like Five that. Five seconds. Right. Hands hands Doing it right. Ready? Three, two, and back and forth. If you're not ready this is for a this, flip. <laughs> this coordination, if you think you're going to hit somebody, don't do it. <laughs> you think you got it, do it. If you think you're going to throw it to somebody's foot, probably not a good exercise. There you go, Jake. It's so good to get you to release the bell. This is how light it should be at the top. The flips are a technique, not so much a workout. It's a technique. It teaches you to release it. That should be the weightlessness drill. At the top of the swing. Good job when you're doing releases like this. Have 20 more seconds of this. Keep moving. There you go. Go, that's you perfect. This card, don't stop. Keep moving. It's good, Trent. Work on your posture. Try to hit hinge your hips backwards more, hit Trent, on the swing. Don't hurt the way you're doing <laughs> But other than that, your coordination is really good. And Just five your posture. Really well. so three, two, and let the bell down. All right, you guys know what to do. 
I'm going behind the next squat, up on the toes. Either way you want to do it. Man, back. Really so lean to do a plie squat. In front, well, in front. I can do it now. You have to do a single squat with the bell in front, held by the horns. Move this way a little bit for me, Jake. Don't bend forward, Taylor. There you go. Keep your head up, Taylor, towards the sky. In three seconds. Two. There you one. go. All right, guys, ready? Set it. What are we doing? <laughs> We're going to do sit ups. So we do uh, these rocker sit ups and planks. So you get to choose. Rockers are better for your core. It depends on what you want. It might get harder to do rockers. Jake can let you do the rockers. As <laughs> <laughs> yeah. good as you're doing, you get to. Yeah, unless I get to pick, I guess. I'm dictating tonight. <laughs> Round four. Oh yeah, I gotta turn this up. Chest presses, push-ups, and squats. Ready? Do that normal. And the timer starts. Not right now. We got about ten more seconds left. Keep the heels off the ground, dude. If everything rocks except your heels. They won't go to the ground. There you go. Heels off, good. And good. Let's take a one minute break. You guys are killing it. Dang good. This is a, obviously a tough core leg workout. Yeah. Really tough leg workout. And your, your swings there, those are perfect. Um, so you want a lot of rotation here, more like this. The traditional swing might be more this way. The way we do it's more rotation. Using the shoulders, the hip, the foot, everything to really create like a whip. Arm still stays out here. The number one mistake is this right here. This is the number one mistake. You want to boom, drive that hip back. And the key to keep your posture is pushing your hips back. So if you go down, you push your hips back. Then you drive up. If you just go down like this, you're going to see a collapse in my posture. Or if I just go like this, bend it, if I'm trying to bend straight with my back, I'm going to be off. It's when you drive your hips back like hiking a football, like that, boom. So it's here, rotation, here, rotation, like that. Right. I want to keep this going until we have a little noise, but we're going to switch over to this one, this side. So we're going to go next, we're going to work on upper body a little bit. We're going to work uh, planks to a matrix. <coughs> this is always fun. So no weights on this one, body weight exercises. And Jake, I'm going to have you in the, I'm going to have you in the middle. Bill, I'm going to bring you over this way because I've got to get this on video. Yeah, you're fine right there actually. If you got enough room, you might move the bells around a little bit. Now, now just kick the camera over. You can do it in here too if you want. Because I'll tell you when the switches are. So you got either one of you, you both want two or whatever. If anybody, we've got plenty of room in here if you want to do this other side. Because I'll tell you when the switch on these. This one you got to have a lot of space. Planks, uh, planks and matrix. I'll tell you to switch. So it's going to be 15 seconds and we'll get started. And Zayla, you're going to want to come up right here in the middle. I wish I, would, I was over there and was talking. Uh -huh. <laughs> you back up just a little bit, Jake. Zayla, you come up. There you go. There, girl. 
Perfect. And start. So we start with planks. Let down. Butt up a little bit higher, Jake. Right there. Don't worry, I won't leave you guys hanging. And switch matrix. Just remember on the matrix to get those hips up and rotate. There you, there you go. Get that hip over. That's perfect. Most of you won't have that much mobility, but that's okay. Out a way to rotate that hip. Perfect, Trent. What? So Zayla, um, you're going. I want you to keep more, in, a little bit more in a push-up position. You're kind of raising your butt up a little bit too early on this. And switch back to the plank. Take back up a little bit more for me, will you? Perfect. That's round one. We got three more. Switch back to the matrix. There you go. Rotate the hip over. Good. And switch back to planks. You need 10 seconds, take it. You can keep going, keep going. You have two more rounds. Back to the plank or the matrix. Need <laughs> ten seconds, baby. Go. Probably need to switch. Left you guys hang on the matrix. Nice. Five more seconds. It's all right. I have a conversation with you. The time goes by, no problem. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're gonna take a two-minute break. Normally take one minute, and I'll be Yeah, just when you're doing your swings, you know, kettlebell swings, they're obviously bending. But it's really safe if you bend properly, hand your hips back and you come up tight. If you're collapsing like this, it's not stiff enough, especially from back here, 
you know, you can start to get tweaks and stuff like that. Hot spot. Everybody gets a hot spot. You, you really can't work out and do anything where you're not going to get hot spots. You're not going to get injured because you're not doing enough weight. You just, the best thing if you have a spot that you feel like it's getting tight, you know, just take the knuckles and dig it around. That's really the easiest way. But then on your form, just make sure your posture is the right way. Because you do so many of them here. If you're not doing it right, you're bending one way, overloading one way, and you start to get a hot spot. Sorry. Best thing to do when you're doing the techniques is find somebody, get in front of somebody that knows how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Watch Jake or watch Doug, and I'll help you if you have questions, just let me know too. All right, we'll get started. So we'll start with pikes first. Which one? Pikes, that's where the butt goes up. Spray up. You want to do a dive bar from there, you just load the hits all the way to the ground. Go for lower back flexibility on the way down. Good. Good, and switch. So these are dynamic bridges. All these things are good for those hot spots. Mobility. Good for your posture and your golf swing. Don't rock your knees. Drive your hips straight up. They kind of watch Jake for a minute. Watch how he's driving. So watch his head. knees go up, then his hips go straight up. Trent's doing it right too as well. Eric's doing it right. Just don't rock your knees forward, right? So there, don't rock your knees. Just your hips go straight up. Up, 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 up. Yep. And then back. Your knees never move forward. Up, 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 up. Yep. Perfect. And switch. That was my fault. Sorry. You still want to do five this morning. All right, and switch. Down in, remember that just keep those knees steady, use those hips, go back, and then they go straight up, just not your knees, right? Perfect, good. Okay? Okay. Show you the hammy. You getting your hammy? Yeah. <laughs> and switch. A second set, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go with the flow because I'm really not paying attention last last round. So really open up that spine. Try to get your heels on the ground at the top of that. So when you get to the top of the pipe, try to drive your heels to the ground. You'll feel your calves really, really stretch. If you can get your, if you can get to the top of the pipe and put your heels on the ground, you're doing something very flexible, which is great. If you're not, you're a little tight in your soleus. That would be your calf. All right, switch. Jake, is that 64 the lowest round you ever shot? Uh, in competition? In competition, yeah. And what's the lowest you shot in there? Well, I shot 65 at Great Hills, but the car was 71, not 69. Wow. Very nice. Car, all right, let's switch. It was a par 70, but then it got rained out, and 18 was underwater for fairway, so they made it a par 3 instead of a par 4. <laughs> How much power have you picked up since you started working out? About 40 yards. Very nice. Hey, that's great. That wasn't even uh, scripted there. <laughs> cool. I was you wouldn't say zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got five more seconds, and we're going to take a break. We'll have a two-minute break, and we're going to start up a little bit of Tai Chi Chi Gong, and we'll wrap it up. That's the last set tonight. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Feel pretty relaxed last night. I slept so well. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was looking at the yeah, this morning. I was like, oh. <laughs> after a workout, we we had a hard workout. We did a, it was probably about five minutes, maybe standing meditation. We haven't done that before. I class. tried it this afternoon actually for a couple of minutes. It, it worked out. It's pretty it's hard to make background day. noise. Yeah, it'd be tricky in the middle of the day. That's the best time to do it. It's just the hardest time. You know, there's so much stuff going on. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. We'll get everybody in here. All right. Let's try to get everybody in here. Okay. So, well, we'll start with this. Yeah, you can go ahead and sink into your, what we call goat stance or mini horse stance. Balance. Okay, we're going to twist and separate. Same thing, keep doing that. We're going to keep doing that for a little bit. wrong way to do this. Just make sure there's a lot of rotation in your spine and make sure that you're keeping your palms facing each other and then separate. So feel like this, you'd separate here. Yep. That's how you get the chi to start to separate. You'll start to feel it separating in your hands. Same thing, Jake, when you're doing this, when you get here, just separate. Yep. Okay, we're going to be lifting water here. Slow. No, no, no. Real slow here. Keep doing that. straight you can get looking back at the sky arms go down this side fingers in keep your palms stretched all the way out straight elbows straight as you can get so you want to keep your elbows straight as you can get and then down the only thing I'd say Doug is when you get here just straight these just as far away from me it's easier to keep your elbows straight that way Yep. And then down. Slow your breathing down, deep breathing. And we'll do the yin yang symbol. One arm. Press is basically a curve, and then you'll come back down that side. Press. Your whole body to move. You're going to keep that extension at the top. Do this. You know what the yin yang symbol is. That's the best way. To, you know, if you just keep the chi in the fingers, that's in the palm of the chi. That's what I'm looking for. And back to the middle. All right here, so focus on getting the energy to go into the palms. We're gonna do some more slow girls. Keep that cheek 
All right, so now we're gonna go standing meditation. Elbows coming into the side, relax, just like this, wrists soft like this. Keep your knees flexed and make sure you breathe. If you don't, I'll just give you a warning. If you do standing meditation and, you, and you're stiff in your knees and you don't breathe, you'll fall on the floor. So don't do that. Flex your knees a little bit, goat stance, that looks like it. So straighten your stance here. Okay. A lot of breathing on this, make sure you breathe. The eyes are gonna be closed, we're gonna try to go for four minutes. Okay, just like this. And palms still relatively facing each other, just like this, and then we'll standing meditation, you just close your eyes. Think about whatever you want. Shoot 63, 61, that wouldn't be bad either. Or just feeling bad. You want to breathe. On this particular exercise, you want to breathe up through the nose, exhale through the, through the mouth. Keep your knees flexed. it so you should feel it we're going to do just a little bit more uh, just just like this your eyes open and now when you start to do the same exercise you should really start to feel it everybody feel it feel it Zayla feel it
All right, good. So it's the standing meditation. It's the same stuff we do. It's just with your eyes closed. It'll pretty much quadruple your chi. So if you've got it flowing, I'm sure you felt it does, right? I, I lost control of my yeah, hands. Yeah, it gets so I had no control. It gets to where, like, when I do it, I'll start to try at the end of five minutes is what I found for me. I can get to where I try to close my hands. And they start, I can't hardly close. I can close them if I force it, but it's, they're fighting each other this way. And that's when you know you got it. And so it may take you 20 minutes, it may take you one second to get that chi to flow like that, but that's the whole road. It just relieves everything. That's all the med- standing meditation. You can do it as prayer, meditation, whatever. Just get your mind off everything, clears you out. And, uh, and if you're working on the chi at the same time, you're just going to create more energy for that night or the next day. So that's it. Good job. Let me give you my card. Oh, okay, cool. Bye, class. We got